Let's do a five mask run on Resto Shaman. And honestly, I really kind of dislike doing Resto Shaman visions. I feel like you might have a better time as Elemental or Enhancement. Purely because Resto Shaman, you're, you're going to be doing really small pulls. Because you can only really reliably keep Flame Shock on like three targets. Your chain lining is capped on three targets. You legitimately can't do anything if you pull more than three. So it becomes really painful because technically speaking, if you play any other healer, you can pull everything in here. You can pull everything in here and just nuke it down. You can pull everything in here and nuke them down as well. And you can have like save a minute or something on your run, maybe even more. But on Resto Shaman, because of how you deal damage, because of the cap on the AoE damage, it, be it basically just going to be pulling one trash pack by one trash pack, but you kind of want to be fighting three mobs at all times. Anything over that, it's not really going to do a whole lot. This is why I feel, but on the flip side, your single target damage is going to be insane. Like Resto Shamans have to have one of the strongest single targets. Just because I'm running Igneous Potential on uh, all of my Azeroid pieces, I have Forbidden Obsidian Claw. Also the fact in terms of Azeroid pieces or Essences, things like Crucible is really good for priority target. Keep in mind, Formless Void directly works with Crucible. So Crucible will proc Formless Void and it's a very good combo for basically every single healer out there. Crucible for single target priority, Formless Void which is going to give you some nice intellect and haste. And it's going to proc off that. So let's go and do the 5 mask one which is going to be... <clears throat> Probably one of the longer runs out of the healers. Is there something you but you see the single target will be melting bosses. And again, the last boss in Stormwind is really unfriendly towards melee. And I'm not melee. So it shouldn't really cost that much time. But you, you'll see, I'll probably be using quite a few sanity orbs throughout this fight. Because I'll be just going quite slowly. I do have my kebabs as well. Keep in mind that Mage Quarter boss on Resto Shaman is quite easy if you can use your totems. So I have my slowdown totem, I have my stun totem, and I also specced into Earth Crab totem to provide an additional, you know, what if I miss kind of moments. I'm also running Ascendance because basically it's just a health pot. If you activate Ascendance, you get healed for quite a bit. And it's an instant heal, so it can help you in these oh crap moments. I'm gonna pop it. Outside of that, honestly, the only thing you need is Echo of the Elements for Double Lava Burst and everything else, whatever you want. It really doesn't matter a whole lot. How many masks is that now? One, two, three, four, five. Five masks and let's go. Invisibility Potion is good as well. Also, I'll be using potions for this run. Because you kind of have to, it helps you out a bit. <clears throat> it helps you out a bit, you know, with the potions, the 100 sanity one. You, you'll see throughout the whole run, I will not be pulling more than 3 trash bags. Even if I proc something good, I won't be doing. Because I can't do damage to more than <laughs> 3 of them at a time. That's just a shaman life, dudes. This guy is a priority target. I proc the thing, which is great, but again, I can't really do a whole lot of things. My son. Front. Front. I'll try and again. Shaman has a direct advantage that he has a, a the only healer that actually has a interrupt, so that's gonna be pretty handy as well. Again, I don't have my flame shock on this guy. I can interrupt though, which is really, really handy for a lot of the bosses. Honestly, interrupt. I don't have an interrupt here. <laughs> I should have used my, my other totem. I have an interrupt ready for this. Let's go. That took, uh, which one? Red potion is bad. So now I need blue potions. Okay, that's handy. I like to use invisibility potion here just because, okay, I have 20 seconds. I have 20 seconds until my gift is gonna proc, which is a little bit awkward because I'm probably not gonna... I might proc my gift, 
Before I get to these mobs here, let's hope not. I have 7 seconds. 5, 4... Okay, this will be really unfortunate if I proc my... Uh, doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm not gonna be doing a big pull here anyways. As the rest of Shaman, there's no point. Of course, I have my Earth Elemental if I fall into really big issues. If I fall into really big issues, I have my Earth Elemental and it can tank quite a bit. Like, even Chain Lightning, does, like, it does nothing, like, if I'm honest with you. It does so little damage. Or at least it feels like it does so little. But that's also the, the fact that I am ruining so much Igneous potential that my Lava Burst really, really hits high. Dance. But you can see these little small ads. I'm gonna have issue with these small ads. Dance. Killing these small ads is actually gonna give me a lot of problems. Dance. I'm gonna try and get these ones. Dance. <clears throat> Proc my trinket. Dance. Like, like, legit, the whole rune is gonna be like this. There's not gonna be any fancy pulls like I do with other ones. I Dance. could technically use heroism for this, because I will get it back up, because the rune is gonna be at least 20 minutes long. Like, I can actually use heroism for this guy. I can try put flame shock on other targets. Um, Dance. Avoid. Dance. But you see, the Avoid. bosses really do, like... They melt. You know what? I'm gonna use Earth Elemental here just to help me out. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna try and maintain Flame Shock on as many targets as possible, but of course, Flame Shock is like a six second uh, cooldown, so you can't really do it all the time. But the more Flame Shocks I have, the more chances of Lava Surge I, uh, I get, so that's instant cast Lava Burst. But you, you can see right now, I'm struggling with kind of. Dance. Killing the smallies. Honestly, I can leave these smallies here and just do my thing. What what potion do I need? I need blue potion. I don't think I found the blue potion here before. Dance. I can't remember if I did. I can't remember if I did found the blue potion before. That's a red potion right there. I still haven't killed these, which is really awkward. I'm gonna interrupt this guy. Front. Dance. Again, man, the small yards. The bane of my existence as a shaman, man. Even though they Dance. have so little HP. Like, legit. Terrible proc of the gift here. <clears throat> There's a green potion here. I need the... Uh, I need a blue potion. That's a blue potion right here. That's actually gonna be really helpful. I'm way slower than with other healers, but... You really don't have to pull that much to get a 5 chest stone, you can play it safe and easy, but again. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my potion. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm waiting for my lava burst procs. Of course, I could use spirit walker's grace, I don't really need to. <laughs> We're going to the next hardest part. Look, actually, this is the hardest part. I probably will pull the right side. Do I don't know if we pull the left side. Find her. I want her dead before day's end. Split personality is coming. I'm gonna try and stun these. I'm gonna try and maintain. Okay, I got this proc again. We kill them. Chain Lightning just feels like it really does very little. I'm all about that Lava Burst. I'm all about the Lava Surge procs. 
That's literally the name of the game for me right now. There's a fear I might get stuck. Okay, this is fine. I can DPS the boss from there. You can't hide from me. I have terrible camera angles here. Dodge. The thing with split personality... The thing with split personality is making sure you don't get locked in. Run. Like, there's a high chance I might get locked in. Okay, I'm not gonna get locked in here. You can definitely get um, punished by the frontal if you're... Okay, fear Dodge. is coming down. You I probably will get feared because there was no... Okay. This is pretty dangerous. Interrupt. This is really dangerous because I'm not, I don't, won't have an interrupt for this. Interrupt. Yeah, I didn't get interrupted for that. That was bad. I'm gonna use my ascendant straight away. I didn't mean to pull the whole run there. You see, I, I just use ascendant as a way to get a health potion basically out of it. <clears throat> I'm gonna get the fear. I can do a cast. I think there was a blue potion somewhere here, if I remember. Yeah, it was here. So the potions do help me out on this run, especially knowing the potion um, positions. You basically just have to play it safe here, honestly. Do not pull too much here. This is the number one way of wiping. This area right here. Especially the invisible mobs. Double red potion here, which is actually pretty interesting. Informants will cast the stun that I failed last time. Really, really important to uh, interrupt. See, you can see if you have a weak aura. I'm using a weak aura that announces things for me. Okay, I might get feared here. I got out in time. You can see that the damage that the poison and the they can do it's insane. I'm probably gonna get split personality. No, I'm not sparking. I don't think there's a weak aura for split personality, if I'm honest with you. Okay, this could be a bit annoying. I interrupted the wrong cast, and I'm gonna get feared. This is really, really dangerous. I need to kill this. If I didn't kill it in time, because I used my interrupt at the wrong time. Split personality is coming. Make sure you're in a safe location. Like Again, shamans can't dispel poisons. Pretty annoying in a lot of situations. Can I cast this? I can't. We should be able to... We don't have a posh. We don't have a trinket here. Split personality is happening here, but I have my trinket right now. Should be fine. This guy should die Red. within instant. And I proc my thing. I get enough... Um, informant again. The number one priority. I'm going to use my earthen wall totem to help out with some of the damage I'm going to be taking. Split personality, dangerous. I can honestly use a stone here as well. I got my um, affix proc here, which is annoying. Again, the whole, <laughs> the whole expansion seems to be all about the purple. And miss. And honestly, keeping track of all the purple procs and things that are happening can be really annoying. The keys need to be used at the same time. Now it's just us and Shaw. <sighs> I'm not sure how I want to do this, actually. Oh, split personality right now. This could be... Okay. Okay, I don't want to be taking too much damage off this. I can't see what the guy is. Okay, he's fighting Illyria. No, Illyria, what am I talking about? When he disappears... Split personality right now. I might get feared. I didn't get feared, but the guy spawned. The boss is really high HP still. Split personality right now. I can't actually tell if split, person if split personality right now. Oh my god, that was really, really bad. Honestly, I lost so much. 
I think I got hit by the purple swirly. I think I got hit by the purple swirly, which is really, really punishing in this. You just kind of have to keep moving. The biggest issue, you get split personality and purple swirly. And that's GG, man. Watch your back. That's GG. You get like 200 sanity trains straight away. I could have maybe baited it. Honestly, I'm gonna use uh, Invis Potion because I can't be bothered dealing with these. I probably will have to Sanity Orb halfway into the next section. I don't think you can do I this as Resto Shaman will never without proccing any light. Sanity Orbs. You can do it with other healers. You can absolutely handle this as a Paladin with no orbs used. You can probably handle this as a Druid, maybe Discipline Priest as well. I do not know if you can do this as a Resto Shaman without proccing any orbs. Maybe you can, honestly, but... Like, this Gosh. is one of those things where you could pull the whole room and have a really nice time AoEing stuff. Dance. But... I'm gonna use uh, Spirit Walker's Grace. Dance. <clears throat> Dance. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. This is lame. Dance. Can't even cast the spells, man. I'm gonna orb after this. Dance. This is taking far too long. Dance. Actually, no, I'm gonna orb after this trash pack pull. Dance. I don't wanna pull any more, though. Dance. I can interrupt these. The guy's chasing me. I jumped at the wrong Dance. time. Dance. Okay, the guy spawns here right now. Can't even use it. This is lame. Dance. <clears throat> I kind of want to proc it here. I can't remember if there's a blue potions around here. Again, a lot of the times it's ranged, optimizing your orb is probably the way to go. Popping orb and then killing mobs is relatively easy as range. You can do this melee, of course. These appendages, if you stay close to them, they yes. don't tend to disappear as much. Dance. Dodge. I'm gonna stun. Keep, have to keep jumping, remember. Dance. Honestly, I kinda wanna keep uh, Flame Shock on this guy. Dance. You dare pilfer my I don't have Flame Shock. I can interrupt, which is great. Interrupt. But I can't interrupt Dance. this. Actually, I can I can dispel myself dispel. and it does the interrupt that was stolen in my last video, which is really interesting. Thank you guys for that. I can dispel the curse and get the, and interrupt the boss. Very interesting. This can be really really painful. The next one, if you if you get pulled in and you don't move out, dance. Just spreading your sun uh, sunfire, just spreading your flame sharks for those lava surge. Honestly, I find these tentacles to be the most annoying thing in the game. Dance. <laughs> Honestly, I find it the most annoying thing. And it, like, it's so annoying. And right now, this the name of the game... Dotting up. Dance. Move. I could have gotten really troubled there. If I get pulled in, I think it's like 500 sanity gone. If I get pulled into the boss. Dance. It is insane. I don't Dance. have a trinket, which... Move. Which Dance. really sucks. I can't really nuke it down too fast. Dance. I probably didn't have to orb. That's a black potion right there. I think remember I remember seeing okay the thing is still here. I think I remember seeing a blue potion somewhere here. 
The appendages Dance. are still following me. Dance. He's probably gonna proc my gift. Thank you, game. There is a purple potion there. I need a blue potion. That's a purple potion again. I remember seeing a blue potion here before. Maybe I'm mistaken. I ran into it straight away. Let's see, yikes. this there you go that's a blue potion that's actually perfect all of my mistakes have just been eradicated with this nice blue potion that gives me a full sanity and we can go on this guy is really annoying you can you can kind of run past him if you really want to but um, again the amount of damage that you take from those orbs is insane. I could have used the kebab here. I haven't used a single kebab yet. I'm definitely going to use Spirit Walker's Grace here to do some damage. Okay, I need to be careful here now. Split personality. I probably will avoid it. Kind of. Okay, proc this. I'm honestly gonna use my Ascendance here again. It's basically, use my Potion here. I'm gonna use the Stone. This is annoying as heck. I can't see anything. Again, dealing with mold, like dealing with these big mobs, I'm gonna use my Earth Elemental. It's just so annoying for me. Okay, I nearly got a bad combo there. You can see it's a big, big issue. Like, they, they die within one hit. But because there's so many of them and I lack AoE damage, unless I have... Unless I had Twilight Devastation, I probably could do a much bigger pulse with... Much more reliably. I'm just gonna put this and go to the next part. I wasted so much sanity on this. It's just incredible. I should interrupt this because it could be really annoying. There's a fear. But again, single target damage, you cannot fall to Resto Shaman in that department. I don't have Spirit Walker's Grace for another 7 seconds. I should really put my, sun f uh, my Flame Shock on the add. So I could get double procs here. I'm actually using Sanity from this. I should proc, no I won't proc my thing yet, my Twisted Appendages have rank 1, which again, quite unreliable in the whole run, if I'm honest with you, I'm gonna get uh, Split Personality right now. I don't want to use my Trinket yet, I'm gonna use it for the next boss, I'll interrupt this guy, again, interrupt is a life saver, saver. I kinda wish every healer would have some form of an interrupt, but I guess Blizzard doesn't want that, except for the Shamans. I'm get, I, I'm gonna okay split personality is gonna screw me up here. Yikes! I still have my battle res again. I practice. This. this is fine. Honestly, I can live with this because this mob. I'm gonna use my trinket. I'm gonna use my spirit walker's grace, and I'm gonna try and nuke it down. Split personality. I can't tell if split personality is okay. I can't tell when split personality is happening when everything, when I have low amount of sanity. So you need to be extra careful. Honestly, the only thing that can really kill you here is split personality. It's just really, really, really annoying. Again, I could go pull the next mob. Split personality is gonna proc right now. I don't have Spirit Walker's Grace because I'm actually running with the 
different talent, which I kind of regret now a little bit. This can be annoying, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna wait. There's two priority targets here. Nuking one down really quickly is quite important. And then just, yeah, interrupt this guy. We're all good. This guy is dead. Nothing to worry about. There is a fear coming down. Dispel the magic. We could probably drag this down to where we need to go right now because we can interrupt this mob. We can do. We can wait for lava search procs happening, which are not happening right now. Split personality was there, but I didn't get to see it because of the angle. A bit awkward. I'll probably will use Sanity Orb here. Split personality is happening again, I'm assuming. Or is it just because... No, it's not. It's just because... Uh, okay. Split personality is happening. You can see right now how annoying it can be. Because I have low amount of Sanity. Split personality has the same effect. The difference is a tiny difference in the purple. I'm gonna use my Sanity Orb. This boss shouldn't be causing me many issues as a Restoration Shaman. Okay, split personality right now. I'm gonna proc the orb. I have multiple... I'll interrupt the sheep? Interrupt. Actually, yeah, I'll interrupt the sheep instead. You see that right now? This is just too easy. Can you feel Dodge. the chill in your bones? <laughs> Interrupt. Shaman! <laughs> Interrupt. <laughs> there, there are advantages to playing Shaman. Don't get me wrong. There are advantages to playing Shaman in Visions, and there's a lot of disadvantages. Again, we have an orb left. We have uh, we have battle resting left as well. We have hero left. We can use a potion. We can drink a kebab if we want. This bo boss should not be okay. I want to stand on the boss here. Too much issue. The only bad thing is. I don't have um, interrupt. I can interrupt polymorph. Hi. Where is it? Yikes. Move. Honestly, oh, 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 I forgot about this. I could honestly put Interrupt. flame shocks on uh, on the on the eyes to get even more. Where am I hiding here? Did that hit me? I have a trinket ready. This is GG man. Ranged. I'm just gonna stand in here, I don't Interrupt. care. And this is a Rust of Shaman 5 mask room. Relatively slow, playing safe and slow, but you can definitely do it with certain talents. Your single target is really strong. There's advantages with totems for the mage quarter boss, big advantages. Let's see what loot we're gonna get. Mastery tier 3 with leech! With leech, dare I say this might be the biz raid setup. <laughs>